believe we have a choice in this world about how to tell sad stories. On the one hand, you can sugarcoat it. On nothing is too messed up that can't be fixed with the Peter Gabriel song. I like that version as much as the next girl does. It's a return to London for you, right? You've been here many, many times. Many times. So what do you like to do when you're here? What is on your to-do list? Ah. Oh. Um, well, I love tea. I've got to just tell you right now. I love tea. I fell in love with the ritual of it because my best friend's mother was English. And I went to RADA. And so I got very used to tea time. And I, it is not done properly in America, just so you know. So um, I will take every advantage in my couple of days. Every single scone in London tea. is going to yes, be gone. Yes, it's going to be gone. Finger sandwich. Yeah. Forget it. Clotted Why is it cream, gone? gone. It's You're the tornado. <laughs> the tornado. It's gone. She swallowed them all up. <laughs> the Devonshire tornado. Now, we haven't had you on the stage here in London. When oh, are we going to yeah. get you doing that? Because that there be are so, so amazing. many amazing American actors who come over here and do it. I would love to do it. It's a dream. Having studied at RADA, uh, it was a great dream to do theater here. I just finished a film with Andrew Garfield, who I love dearly, and uh, so we were talking a lot about being on the stage here. Now, let's talk about the movie. And I pretty much, I'm a bit of a crier in these movies, but I pretty much made it through without crying <gasps> until the eulogies. Oh, forget it, that's me too. And then it was forget like, it. boom, Yeah. it all came Yeah, out. tears are spraying towards the screen. That's the scene for me, too. I have such a hard time getting through. Um, and then kind of cry for the whole rest of the movie. And a lot of people are going to think this is fundamentally it's a movie for women, it's, it's a movie for girls, but a lot of guys I know have really loved this. Uh, we should have, like, guy help groups. Absolutely. Fans of the movie. Oh, yeah. We get together, we cry. Oh, I, I mean, in fact, it's mostly my male friends who have been the most impacted by it. So we're all going with our own story of it, whether it's a friend or a relative, we've all been touched by that as well. Or the experience of being a parent or whatever it is that you bring to the movie, it's, it's touching everybody. I was going to ask you about being a parent, of course. Have, you, have your kids seen this? Your daughter, is she a bit too young? She has seen it, and the reason I felt comfortable with her seeing it, because I thought she'd be too young, is she was on the set a great deal, and my children have become very close with Shailene and Ansel, too. I mean, my, I was like... I bet she's really popular in school, right, knowing two of the oh, hottest people in uh, Hollywood right uh, now. Well, by the way, I mean, they've been her date to award shows. I, I wasn't asked. I mean, she, like, comes over, picks my kids up, and goes to things with them. But they literally are her date to do stuff. And she comes... I was on location on another movie. I called my house. She was cooking for my kids in my house. She kind of lives with us. It's the best thing that ever happened. <laughs> She's got her own room now. Yeah, she does. And literally, I'm not joking. It's brilliantly crafted. And it joins, you know, a long line of brilliantly crafted movies that deal with subjects like this. So if I was going to go through your DVD collection, what am I going to go and find in there that reduces you for tears? For me, I've got beaches in there. Not ashamed to oh. say I cry for that. Absolutely. And Dirty Dancing gets me every single time at the end. I to see that again. Because, Laura, nobody can put baby in a corner. No. She doesn't belong in a no. corner. She just wants to dance. I know. I so just saw her. So what makes you cry on your DVD I collection? just saw her walking down the street the other day. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I was going to say something really irreverent and name, like, a movie I did when I was 13 or something that I didn't like. But, um, well, Terms of Endearment would be up there without question. But I, I, I cry over funny movies, <laughs> something about them, um, breaks me up. And uh, I was just watching Coming Home, which my father is in the other day, and I hadn't seen it in years, and it just killed me. Uh, as, as an anti-war film in general and as a film, I just wept like a baby through the whole thing. You leave me forever within the numbered days, and I can't tell you how thankful I am for our little infinity. It's a good life, Hazel Grace. Okay.